This is a Vietnamese Cinderella story from the graphic novel, The Magic Fish. Once, perhaps not so long ago, there was a girl, sweet and kind, beloved by her mother and father. She was called Tam. When her mother passed, Tam's father remarried a widow with a child of her own, a girl named Cam. They were happy for a time, but one day Tam's father fell ill and died. Her stepmother's grief turned to anger, and that anger was directed at Tam. Do you love me, Tam? Yes, stepmother, I do. Then you will do everything I ask of you? Yes, stepmother, I will. Tam did her best to comply with all her stepmother's demands. She moved out of the main building and into a little garden in the alley. She cooked. She cleaned. She took meticulous care of the household. Sorry. <laughs> Yet each time she finished a task, her stepmother would observe her work, turn to her, and say, Tam, don't you love your stepmother? And each time, Tam would say, Yes, stepmother, I do. Good, then do it again, and do it correctly this time. And then Tam would dutifully repeat her tasks before retreating into the little alley garden. Her stepmother and stepsister would never set, place in a, set foot in a place with so much dirt. Here, Tam could be alone. I tried my hardest. I really did. Why are you crying, girl? You speak? I am mostly content to listen, but sometimes I speak. Have you always lived in this pond? Yes, for at least as long as you've been alive. Your mother used to feed me bits of shrimp. I've got a little bit. I can give you some if you tell me all about her. Tam and the little fish became fast friends, and they visited every night. Tam grew happier and more radiant with each passing year. Tam's stepmother noticed. How dare Tam be happy? Would you like to know what I've seen, mother? What have you seen? Every day she sprinkles a little shredded shrimp into that pond. And she speaks into the water. And something in the, in the water speaks back. Isn't that just so strange? Later that very week, Tam sprinkled bits of shrimp into the pond, but the fish never came. How strange. I wonder where she's gone. Tam, why don't you come join us inside tonight? Yes, stepmother, I will. It was strange that her stepmother would invite her in. Please sit down. You've been working so diligently. Why, the house is almost spotless. Thank you so much, stepmother. You're very kind. In appreciation of all your progress in finally becoming a help to this household, I decided to cook a special meal just for you. Thank you. Eat. It's delicious. I'm so pleased to hear that. It's the funniest thing, stepdaughter. I was walking through your darling little garden, and there was this magnificent fish. I thought to myself, I'm certain that my sweet stepdaughter would enjoy a fine fish stew. Tam, do you love your stepmother? Yes, stepmother, I do. Then be a good girl and eat. Yes, stepmother. Tam buried the bones of her dearest friend under the roots of a little peach tree. She grieved, alone and in secret. Life went on as before, until an invitation arrived. The merchant seeks a wife, and all eligible young ladies of the household are encouraged to attend a fete at his estate in three days' time. You'd like to come with us, wouldn't you, stepdaughter? And I absolutely think you should go but before you do i was counting on cooking some rice some white rice 
but I clumsily mixed brown rice and white rice into the same bag. I will separate the grain, stepmother. Good girl. Tam set to work separating the grains of rice. Two days went by, and the piles were separated bit by bit. On the evening of the third day, Cam and her mother left Tam behind to her task. A shame you can't join us at the party, but I so need this task done. Do you love your stepmother, Tam? Yes, stepmother, I do. So Tam continued working into the evening. An absurd task, isn't it? Is that how it goes? I can hardly remember. Probably. They're only stories. They'll change when they need to. This is a little bit of the other story in the book. And now we come back to the fairy tale. Where did we leave off? She just ate her best friend. Tough to come back from that. That's dark, auntie. Wait until you hear what happens next. Unbury the bones. 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 Come with us. The grains will be sorted by the time you return. Come with us, come with us. Your future is not here. Come with us, 